Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Where I think No yeah, this was the first place we went to, so heck. Uh we're gonna go. Let's go did we go to the debris? I don't think no we did not. So we're gonna go finish this planet and then we're gonna go talk to Rex. Because then usually, like, I, I shouldn't be able to, like, necessarily just, like, you can just go back and every talk to something new happens. Like, usually it's triggered by, like, a main quest or something. But I think this is, I think this is the first time I've run into his armor quest without getting it from him. Like, usually you have to be a little further along in your friendship to get that. Garrus has a mission, too. And Tally has one, but Tally's is, is pretty sneaky and, like, kind of hard to get. Like, she doesn't necessarily come right out with it, but there is something involving Geth that you can you can get her, essentially. And it involves, like, taking down, like, three Geth strongholds or something. See this? This is prime Thresher Maw real estate. I don't think, I don't think one pops out here. I could be very wrong. But I think we're okay. I have no memory of this place anyway. It's so shiny. It almost looks like it's like not fully rendering, but it is. It's just that color. Where it makes my eyes go Wah. Let's see what I take. Oh yeah, I'm going this way. Again, look at this go. It's not a great photo, but so I won't take it. Oh, let me out. But you can do photo mode midair. I do like how the game just throws us out. I think that's hilarious. It just throws us out. It's like no, we are not dealing with that whole getting in and out thing. Sweet. Like my computer just flashed a little bit. Somebody did say, and I haven't actually checked the video yet, but I think like episode 16 had a bit of an audio desync, so now I'm like, <laughs> like I'm really hoping that that doesn't. It might be, well, it would have affected episode 17 too, which maybe it did. I don't think I've looked at the comments for it yet. Um, but it might be because uh, the hard drive was getting very full. And the game was like, hey. And I'm like, I, I know, it's fine, you'll be okay. Took me an hour and a half of not really doing anything, I guess, but... Uh, I was like, I'm gonna record yesterday. And then I sat down to do it, and I was like, oh wait, <laughs> I don't have any hard drive, like, like on like laptop hard drive left. So I had to transfer all the video files from it to the external hard drive, which took a while. And all I had to do was sit there and watch a TV show that I like called Hannibal. Which I was like, I'm gonna do a rewatch of this. And then they were like, I got an article telling me Hannibal's gonna be off Netflix in a month. And I was like, what? <laughs> or something like that. Because it had been on there, I feel like, for a while. But apparently it only been on there for like a year? I don't know. Anyway, I want this mineral. <laughs> um, anyway, it's really good. I highly recommend it. It's got some gore in it. It is about Hannibal the Cannibal. Um, but it's like a retelling of it, sort of. Like, based off of... Um... Okay, maybe we'll just... No. 
Oh, no. I need to try to find a way to it from here. Um. Yeah, I never watched, like, The Silence of the Lambs or anything like that, so I can't compare it to the book or to the original movies or anything. But I very much enjoy watching Mads Mikkelsen and whoever else the other guy is. They are very good at what they do. And apparently it, it was applauded for its tasteful use of gore, which... I'm like, I don't think you can have tasteful gore, but it is not, like necessarily about like ripping and shredding or whatever it's actually pretty like horrifying almost how like delicate some of the like anyway i probably shouldn't be like well oh, we're not talking about it necessarily and people are like eh but he's a cannibal and he eats people but he's also a gourmet chef so like what it is is he'll be listening to like classical music and and be like preparing these incredibly fancy dishes and he's like pulling out the meat, you know, and it, and it looks just, you know, it's, it's like in the show. It's like obviously like pork or beef or whatever, you know, but you know, even before it's like, yeah, he's a cannibal, you know, you know exactly what it is and you're like, ah, but he makes it, he like presents it so beautifully, right? And like, ah, oh, and then he feeds it to people and it's like, oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm sorry if that is like, uh, like uncomfortable for people. I won't talk about it anymore, but. I know some people really don't like that stuff, which is totally fair. Cannibalism isn't great. <laughs> it's not a very like it's an interesting topic. It's not an, it's not a it's not one that people want to like you know talk about all the time. Hello. I actually do have a book I want to read about cannibalism in like the American Southwest. I think factual, as, you know, as factual as, as it can be without firsthand you know, sources. Sorry, Caps. I was gonna go over to that, but that's a, that's a Prothean thing, but apparently this is Sorry Capsules that we're after. No, Rex. Matriarch Delanaga. It's possible the writings came from the nearby ruins. These are freaking Prothean ruins. I guess though people can, like, at least they're billed as Prothean ruins often. I think at one of them you find like a you find like a time capsule at the top, right? That's like not. It's like somebody put it there. So like you could put a matriarch Dillonega's writings like in, or on one of these. Of course, it's a pyramid, right? Like whoa. The pyramids are so mis. No, they're not mysterious. They're not. They're cool, but they're not mysterious. <laughs> And they're not built by aliens, and if you say that, I'll ban you for life. <laughs> I hate that so much. It's just, that that whole, like, idea is just, like, rooted in racism. That, like, obviously people, uh, especially darker people, and she Egyptians weren't even that dark a lot of the times, are like, they're like, no, they can't freaking, they couldn't build anything. They're not, they're not advanced enough. It had to be aliens that came in and built it. I'm like, no one says that the European castles were built by aliens. No one ever says anything built by the Europeans was built by aliens. It's anybody else. Anybody else who built anything is the one who's like, mm, yeah, you're definitely built by aliens. So you, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's just rooted in the idea that like people that you think are less that that were often thought of as lesser than you, and still to this day are thought of as lesser than like white people who are like in academia and getting stupid TV shows about on the freaking History Channel about ancient aliens. Anyway, it's frustrating. <laughs> the whole thing is just incredibly frustrating, and sets the field of archaeology and history back immensely, and makes it so people don't take it seriously. You know, because that that stuff is just garbage. It's just apples of garbage. Poppycock is what it is. And I'm staring at my computer like I'm looking at you guys. I'm like, just my eyes. I'm like, for real. <laughs> it's absolute balderdash. Uh, journal. Yes, Cerberus. I get. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Rex, that's why we're here. We're here, we're here, we're here, we're here because we want to talk. Well, besides the fact that we finished up the planet, essentially, we're going to go talk to Rex. 
I turned the fan off in the background, so now the room is reaching 110 degrees. Not really. I know some people are actually having issues like that. Like, freaking Canada's, like, dealing with a massive heat wave, and, like, they're like, it's like 103 up here. And ACs are breaking all over the place, as far as I can tell, during the heat wave. Especially in Canada, where they're not equipped for it. You know, it's not supposed to get that hot. Shepard. Is that... We're not gonna talk about your armor? What can you tell me about the Genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes me I think we've already done all of this. Possible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, mm -hmm. every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. So long, Rex. Shepherd. I thought we'd be able to chat. Apparently not. Yeah, I think unless something drastic happens, there's no point in talking. Looking for supplies? Maybe. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. <laughs> Ooh, that's right. I have access to them. <sighs> human, 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 human. Nothing. I think we do have access to some, like, did we get, like, the Spectre deal? Spectre license? Where's my Krogan Atreian armor? Maybe I should go to the Citadel and look at the, like, alien armors. I think he, I think that the, oh, the jelly, uh, Hanar, the Hanar, uh, shopkeeper has some stuff. I hate buying things though because you generally p you pick up so much. Okay, hang on. Actually, let's go to the sell category. I don't really know what junk is, really, but I'm just gonna sell everything that's one. Oh my gosh, so much two stuff. Um. Maybe I just, maybe I do just sell all the two stuff. It's just a pain in the butt to try to figure it out. I will keep the Turian armor because it's the only one we've got. And on the off chance, I lose my mind. And I'm like, oh, I'm sick of freaking Italian Rex, I don't know, if, if maybe that squad ends up not being the, with the, with a vanguard, two vanguards and an electrician end up not being the best in San, for an insanity run. Uh, well, hang on, let's actually... Looking for supplies? See how much do I have. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Still can't afford those. Yeah. If I'm gonna buy anything, you can't, you can't just find Spectre gear lying around. Everything else you can pick up. Essentially. And I think there is like a way to get like Quarian armor if you do a certain, or like, I don't know, if you somehow reach Novaria by a certain point in time, there's a Hanar shopkeeper that you can sometimes get Quarian armor from. I don't quite remember how it all works out, but definitely in the DLC you can get Quarian armor because it's so rare and I get it every time. I do take Tally with me for the most part, so it's important to get her armor, but I guess if you didn't have Tally with you, it wouldn't be such a big deal. Find the commune in the Hawking Ada cluster. Well, let's see if I finished exploring this area. I think I did. Yes. At least this place. Oh yeah, this Phoenix. Okay. Hawking Ada. Where are you at? Yeah. Sentry's the only one. 
Well, and sometimes these update, right? Like you get more, they don't necessarily put them all out at once. Like I think there's one more that shows up in the Hockey Aiden cluster that's a different system. Like we're going to the Century one, but then we'll get another mission later that's like, go to the, well, I don't know, Millennium system in Hawking Ada, and it's like, oh, there it is. Message coming in, Commander. Ah! Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Yeah. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small... That's what I'm doing. In a cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. Ah. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to That's a big deal. Compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. Like, the some kind of religious leader. Bleh. Um... Like, calm down, okay? <laughs> um... What was I gonna say? Just because he, he's a critic of the Alliance doesn't make him mentally unstable. That kind of, you know, jargon is used too often to discredit political opponents. But in this case, Father Kyle is a little bit unstable. Or at least he's 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 going through like he's got like major PTSD. You said his followers were biotics. Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like No, this. it kind of started with that whole corporate thing. What were those Alliance representatives going the to talk spill. to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. How often does that in happen? In state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers kill them. They should have had people go with him to protect the representatives. But it's like, oh yeah, veterans, we gotta help the veterans out. And then like, ah, uh, like a fairly high percentage of them are homeless. And then like, don't get the health care that they need. And et cetera, et cetera, at least in the U.S. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier. But something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluation showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too Yeah, late. maybe you should have given him the mental help he needed before it reached this point. To be fair, you can offer as much as you want. If the person doesn't take it, nothing more you can do, really, you know? I might be able to end this without violence. You serve with him. He might listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. I trust you to As use you your judgment. As you were saying, Torfan, I'm pretty sure... Yeah. I, I do recognize them. The atmosphere the surface is icy. It's a few metals. Canyon presence of canes and float plains indicates that liquid water once existed, suggesting Tamahara had a thicker insulating atmosphere in the past. Moon. Let's do the big big one first. Big climb dragon. That's an air terrestrial, let's say larger than Earth, with low lower density. The crust is composed of tin and aluminum. Interesting. That's different than I mean, we have tin and aluminum in ours, but it's not the majority. Uh, Clem Dagas, most striking feature is, of course, the, of course, the Kavir Tally. This is one of those, like, other, like, sort of clues to, like, the mass devastation they had but way back when. The Great Rift Valley stretches across the southern hemisphere. What is most fascinating about the rift is it does not appear to be natural. The geological record suggests a result of a glancing blow by a mass accelerator round of unimaginable destructive power. This occurred some 37 million years ago. Oh, yeah! So 37 million years ago was is because the the cycle that they that they that they've already mentioned I'm not spoiling too much is like every 50,000 years or so the reapers uh, come and wipe out all life as we know it right that's, that's that's the current theory with the little evidence that we have now um, and only by a few people who care to pay attention. Um, 
But yeah, this glancing blow was 37 million years ago, but who could have made it? Mm, potentially galactic devastation on the scale that we think potentially is happening. Or has happened. Press drop is the moon. Oh, you can land on the moon, that's right. Oh, this one's gonna be cool. You'll be able to see the planet. Heavy metals. Exploitation will be complicated by the system's proximity to the five kiloparsec ring around the galactic core. Yeah, I think the Hawking Eta cluster is the close, at least in this game. I don't know how it is in real life, honestly. Uh, I don't know if we've named it, but the the galaxy clo or the, the system closest to uh, the cluster, the cluster closest to the five kiloparsec ring near the galactic core. It's a nightmare of jagged overlapping ridges and geological shock zones created by some ancient disaster. This is not to deter the generation of illegal wildcat miners from attempting to exploit them in these better riches. Unfortunately, many have lost their lives. Yeah, sometimes you see population numbers. Maybe that's maybe they introduce more in Mass Effect 3, which is just heartbreaking. I'm gonna get a lights. Okay, we can land there. back and land on the other one in a bit. Survey. Cobalt. The planet is further for aside from some spectacular formations of water ice at the poles, the planet has little to recommend it. It's an interesting color, kind of a weird gray. Pretty Theropto. It's typical hydrogen and gas giant, which is a fluorine and sulfur in the atmosphere. The chlorine is what turns it green. It has over 100 moons and an extensive ring system composed of pulverized rock, presumably the debris from shattered moons. Presumably, oh, medallion, dope. Tiny moon with some odd, you serve a tiny moon with some odd readings. Further scans by Chief Engineer Adams reveal the destroyed escape pod. Your salvage team has recovered the components and found a League of One medallion. Dope. We need 10 of those. Down we go. I love that load screen, honestly. It's very vivid. Oh, there it is, there it is. We can see the, the Great Rift Valley. That's what that is, a southern hemisphere. We couldn't see it from the little bit that we could see before, like, of the top of the planet. But now, where are you at? There it is. Here, hang on, let's actually do... Can I tilt my camera up more? Um, turn that off. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I don't want to tilt like that. I just want to, like... I cannot, apparently, look up enough to get the entire moon. Or planet, rather, I guess. That's the Great Rift Valley. What is that like? Like, does I throw something on my screen for a second? Right there in the center. I was like, what is that? But it's just something in the atmosphere, I guess. Off we go. It looks really cool, though. I like it a lot. It always looks cool. Oh, let's check the map. Anomaly, debris, about it. Calm down. All right, we're going to order. We're gonna throw ourselves across these mountains. Is that? Well, what's this? On the compound, is it? It shouldn't be this close. it is oh my gosh Ooh. Ooh. constant vigilance
I'm running out of Omni Gel. I should probably stop selling things and turn them into Omni Gel. Come back out, you coward. I'm still here. a nightmare before. Come on out. Yeah, I think the only time I ever want to take these guys out on foot is uh, when I'm doing a new game plus. Madness on the map, but they're just not telling you yet because it wasn't marked by anything. All right, well, we done did it. Just in case you want to fight more Thresher Mods, they're, they're gonna mark it, but not in the map. Just, 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 just as an idea of Shepard's like, hmm. Our Thresher Ma senses start tingling. There's another unmarked. Like, it's on my, like, scanner here, but it's not on my map. And now I'm gonna go all the way back down this mountain that I laboriously climbed up. Show me on the map, too, dang it, so I can plan out my route. Oh, a set of rubber tracks lead away over the mountain range to the southwest. Uh, I have I have found this before. It's, it's the uh, like the wildcat miners. So it is southwest. I wish I could see the tracks. Yeah, well, the, that's okay. That's where I was going, right? Is here and here and then there. But but okay, map. Thank you. I love that if you can get attached to the surface, the way down the Mako isn't just like a total free fall sometimes. Wildcat mining, this is a miner's claim. Ancient debris. Oh, they marked the ancient debris with a mining claim. Turian insignia. This was marked on one side with the Macedon outpost insignia. We're kind of doing archaeology, honestly. Even you know, though we what we would actually do is just like, ge like space, like geospatially located on like a map, and then even just you know, digitally. Oh dang! Wrecked mining vehicle. Glimpse inside tells you the occupants are dead. Debris is still sliding down the furrow left from his tire, silencing the near vacuum atmosphere. Yep. You do your best, right? Like, sometimes you're like, oh, they're just trying to take advantage of, like, you know, the, I don't know, so they don't have to, like, pay taxes or whatever on, the, on whatever they're trying to mine. But sometimes it's people who are just out of luck, you know, and they just, they just want to make some money. Oh, no, don't put me in this hole. I'll never get out of it again. You know, like, that's not everybody who's just, like, you know, just trying to scam the system, but you know what? Do it. <laughs> the system doesn't have, like, hasn't done much, well, I don't know, you could, there's a lot of different arguments there, but I was like, if you're, you know, like a very disenfranchised person, you're like, what has the system done for me? You know, like, 
Why should I abide by its rules, right, Mako? We can make our own path. <laughs> Belly flopping across the freaking landscape. Is that a person? Nope. Oh. Looks like part of a speeder, but they don't have speeders in this game, unfortunately. Crash broke. Freaking speeders aren't just, you know, the property of Star Wars. Other people can have speeders. Destiny has speeders. That's what I desperately wanted in Andromeda was like a hover bike or like a hover I wanted a hover vehicle of some sort like legitimately and I was very sad when we didn't get one that was one of the big things like they, they never said we were gonna get that um but I was really hoping for one for some sort of hover vehicle like the Destiny one which I've only played Destiny a little bit but I really liked driving the hover bike it was fun um, but I should probably call this one here. I think there were some pauses I'll have to edit out, but I think we're at a good time. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.